thank you all for coming to this session. Such an important topic as you grow your teams. Of course, the first 70 days of a new consultant's journey is so important. And when we went to select presenters for this topic, we knew that we needed to identify leaders who have been successful, but people who are actively building a team and continually filling that pipeline of team members and people who have demonstrated significant success in growing sensational starters. And we have an awesome presenter here today, Rachel Pence, star director from Ohio. My voice is going out, so I apologize. And when I present, I say, you know what I mean, all the time. So, I'm warning you now, you're gonna hear it lots and lots and lots. Um, but again, my name is Rachel Pence, and I'm a star director from Ohio. And... I am. Oh, yeah, I was like, why are we screaming? <laughs> okay, so, a little bit about me. I am a mom of five. I have a little tiny mini farm with like 20 something chickens and three pigs and all that stuff. Um, I'm very, very busy with my kids. They're all, as you can imagine, doing sports and everything else. So very, very busy. The like epitome of excuse buster of I am too busy. Um, I joined in February of 16. So I'm still a baby in Cincy world. Um, I'm still relatively new, but I've earned, been able to earn an annual mentor all three years that I've been a consultant. And I can genuinely say that a lot of that comes from really utilizing Sensational Start the way that it's intended to be. Um, so it is a fantastic program that Cincy has set up for us um, that we don't have to you know, rewrite the book about. It's already there, they do it, and they do it for every single new consultant. So it's an amazing tool. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, like this is an example of you know, how many Sensational Start people I've been able to sponsor in the last few years that I've been able to help reach their goals at the beginning. So I really, really do utilize this for so many reasons. Okay, so first off, if you're gonna be coaching people for <coughs> Sensational Start, you have to know the levels of Sensational Start. So you as a leader and their mentor, it is your job to know those levels. You have got to know them the back of your hand, okay? You need to know level one, level two, level three, and exactly how they earn those, to where when you're running those reports, you're able to identify who's close, who is it close, who's on the stair, all of those things. It's gonna make you a lot better leader and a lot easier to coach them if you know what you're exactly coaching them to. And this is just interesting that 98% of, of direct consultants who have a director title have reached a sensational start level. So even more proof that this is a crucial tool for us to be using as leaders um, for our new recruits. And I have like four slides, so I probably need to slow down. Okay, so, but what is Sensational Star? Obviously, Sensational Star is all of these levels in your first 70 days. Why is it important? Sensational Star is designed to teach them to do the things to grow a business. So the levels of, the levels of Sensational Star, where you earn them, obviously, is through peer B and through recruiting. So if we can teach them at the very, very beginning how crucial PRB is to their business and how crucial recruiting is to their business, then it sets them up on a whole better foot to grow their business the way that they, that they would like to and in turn the way that's going to really help you grow your business even more. Okay, so and why, why is it so important is again, like we said, so that to help them grow their business and help you. And what I mean by that is if you have not who here has not ever had their first recruit? Has everybody, no shame, no shame at all. It is, <coughs> exactly, that's why you're here and that's that's the biggest thing, that's the biggest part of this business is realizing what you need to work on and actually doing it, okay? People that don't identify what they need to fix in their business are never gonna grow their business because they're not trying to actively fix it. So what I wanted to just tell you guys is some real life numbers, okay? I like numbers. I don't have these on here because I'm a slacker and just thought about it today. But I wanted just to tell you some real life numbers. So for instance, March of 2016, my first paycheck, okay? It was 1300 bucks. 1300 bucks for me was life changing. I wanted $300 to send my boys to school. I didn't want to quit. I didn't want to not work as a nurse ever again. I didn't want to retire my husband. I didn't want any of those things the first month, okay? I wanted $300 to send somebody to preschool. So my first check of $1,300 was life changing. But I have 4,000 PRB to get there. 4,000 PRB, if you had a 4,000 PRB month, you know it's hard 
it's a lot. You're working, you're putting orders in. You are breaking your back sometimes to get four or five thousand dollars in orders. Great, and can you have good paychecks with those? Absolutely. But it's a lot of physical work. So my first check was thirteen hundred dollars. I was a star consultant, so I did have a team, but I made a whole twenty-five dollars off of them. It was not changing my life by having a team at that point because I had made twenty-five bucks. Okay, but March of nineteen. My first uh, check to the star director, it was almost $4,100. And my personal PRB was only $2,200. So I did half of the actual physical legwork and sales and made four times the paycheck, okay? 87 83% of my check in March 2019 was from growing my team and growing sensational starters and growing people that were also growing their own businesses. So that is why this is so crucial for you to grow your team, okay? You can make so much more money with people than you'll ever be able to make by yourself. And trust me, nobody wants to make $4,000 with your own stake in sales. It is just not a good time. You don't wanna do it, trust me. You wanna do it with your team though, because it's worth it. And at the end of the day, yes, you're gonna have, you know, you're doing that work, you're, you're doing all the things, but you're not running every day with a huge bag to a home party. You're not doing, you know, setting up for an event every other week. You're coaching your people from your phone. You're working with them, you know, on your couch. It's a lot less physical legwork to be able to do that. So I just wanted to show you guys the real life numbers that growing your team is so important and growing your team will change your life opposed to, which selling products also changes your life, that sounds terrible. But if you're only doing the selling portion, then you're really missing out on truly changing your life. Um, it was March of 16, was $1,300. And I had 4,000 PRB, and only these are as rounding. So if I'm off the dollar, nobody's up to me. Good math. Uh, $25 was off my team. But then in March of 19, it was $4,100, and $3,400 was from growing my team. So 83% was from my team sales, working with my team. Granted, I'm not just sitting down and living off of them. I'm working very closely with them and doing the things as a team leader. But it's just a lot more, less physical legwork, like I said, of packing a bag and packing boxes and doing all these things. For me, it's, I would rather grow my team <coughs> from my couch than doing any of those. Okay, so, um, how are you going to grow sensational starters? How are you gonna get there, right? You bring people in and how many people have you brought people in and they don't do nothing? They have zero dollars ever, right? It happens. I'll tell you right now, I recruited six in May. Two of them have certified. Two. So you're not alone. There's no shame in that because you can't make everybody want this, okay? But those people that you do identify that are actually, actually trying, you have to work with them and you have to help them get there because they may not be aware of these goals. How many, okay, another question. How many of you, when you started, did not know Sensational Start existed? <laughs> There's always people. If you don't know that it exists, if they don't know that it's there, how are they going to know what goals to hit? And that's why this is so amazing. And if somebody comes to you and they say, hey, I wanna be a superstar director one day. And then you say, okay, well, you're gonna need 80,000 GWB. They're literally gonna run out the door and they're never gonna to talk to you again, okay? But if you say, hey, I know you wanna make a lot of money and this is the way that we're gonna do it. First, <coughs> we're gonna hit shooting star. Okay, oh, oh, I have a slide, yeah. Okay, <laughs> first, you're gonna hit shooting star, okay? First, you're gonna hit shooting star and then we have 70 days to get you to sensational star. Okay, we're gonna work on sensational start level one, two, and three. And you and what this is kind of like is instead of telling them, okay, you know what, we're gonna run a 20 something mile marathon. So if you wanted to run a 20 something mile marathon, would you go out today and run 20 miles if you've never ran a day in your life? Nope. No, you would first run a mile, and then you would run three miles, and then you would run five miles, and then you'd run a half marathon, and then you'd run a full marathon. And this is the exact same thing. So first, instead of saying you need, even just as a director, even you need 10,000 GWB, instead of telling them that's what you need, I'll see you when you get there, you're gonna say, okay, you're gonna get 500 PRB by your 15th day. You're gonna get, you know, what? you're gonna get your 1500, you're gonna get your 1500 PRB by your 70th day. Or your 3,002 active recruits by your 70th day. You're building this with them. and working in small, painful <coughs> steps that seem legit, that seem possible, okay? And then of course, when they're on the way there, they're gonna certify, and then they're gonna hit lead, and then they're gonna hit star, and it's the same thing as if I give you a potato, a bag of, if I say, here's a bag of potato chips, the best potato chips ever, 
and then you take one bite, are you gonna want more? Exactly the same thing. If you give them one bite and one taste of success with shooting star, and then with cessation <coughs> star, and then you know you just build these goals with them in small obtainable steps, then they're gonna want more. And then you know what happens when they finish their 70th day? They are totally in the seat to earn the next incentive. So then you're like, okay, well we're done with your 70th day, so now let's earn the incentive. This is how close you are because you just did the things to get to sensational start. Because again, all of those things are what are necessary to grow a profitable, profitable business, okay? So you're gonna work with them closely with all of those. You're gonna do each step at a time. And you know what, you're not just gonna tell them, you're gonna work right next to them. You're gonna build a relationship with them. And you know what, I'm here to tell you too, if you're not doing the things you're telling them to do, they're not gonna listen to you, okay? So don't tell somebody you need 2,000 PRV this month if you're not working for 2,000 PRV this month. Do I get 2,000 PRV every single month? No. No, I was at 1,900 last month. Every single month I don't, and I'm not afraid to tell you that. I don't earn annual sales. But you know what, I get dang close every single month. I get dang close every single year. Because you know what, I may not always get that, but I'm working my butt off to get there. And I'm doing the things that I'm telling them to do. I'm telling them, book home parties, book online parties, book fundraisers. I'm doing the same things, okay? I'm not gonna tell them to do something if I'm not sitting here doing it myself. So if, there's, if you're not growing this, you know, the recruits that you want and you know, the sensational starters that you want, then maybe you need to sit, step back and also look at what you're doing in your business, okay? Are you doing, are you getting the sales? Are you getting the parties? Are you doing the things, okay? Because that's another crucial part of this process is you doing the things. You can't just walk, you can't, what is it, what is it called? Talk the walk, you need to walk the walk, okay? You don't just tell them to do it if you're not willing to do it yourself. So again, you're gonna walk right next to them. So when they say, when you say, okay, our first thing we're gonna do is this, and then we're gonna do this, you're gonna be building that relationship, checking in with them. They are your front line. If you're building sensational starters, then that means they are your front line. So that means they are the most important people to your business. So you need to be working with them and building a relationship with them and doing the things with them to help them get there because those are the people that will change your life. Those are the people that are gonna be your future directors that are gonna be the ones that are going to change your life, you guys. Like, they're, they're not just somebody you met on the street and we're gonna talk to you again. If you can get to somebody who's sensational start level three, they are more than, they, not more than likely, but they are much more likely to get to director. If you can get them to director, then you're, they, they can change your life, guys. It takes one person, one, okay? All it takes is one. So if you can grow one sensational starter and they end up being that one person, not saying they all are, but one of those could be the one that changes your entire financial outlook in your entire life, okay? So with that, again, like I said, is we're building that with them. We're going to each level. So we're also, <laughs> since we just got the incentive qualifications released, we know that they correspond. Do you get sensational start points? No. But if you look at the levels of sensational start, if you look at level one, that coordinates with being a lead consultant, okay? And when I say level one, I like all of my <laughs> downline to achieve those with recruiting, okay? So if you can get them to a, you know, a thousand PRV and they have one active recruit, guess what the PRV is needed for a lead consultant? $1,250, okay? So there you go. You are have, now have a lead consultant, which is going to get, if you can do it in there for in a month, obviously. I don't think I need to say all those details, but if you can do that in a month. So doing these levels and getting them there is going to help push them to promote to lead consultants and start consultants and to certify, which is in turn gonna get you the next person incentive. So you have to do these things. It's crucial for you in their business. I don't even remember what's on the next page. Okay, so, I'm gonna get you today this one, but okay. So we, we wanna practice. So if you are, you know, who here has people that are in their first and in their sensational start 70 days? Okay, grab your phone and you need to reach out to them because it is your job to be their cheerleader, to their personal cheerleader, you guys. I don't know what time it is. Yeah. What time is it? 2.15. 2.15, 2 okay. I'm a super fast talker, guys. Um, but I want you to grab your phone and if you have somebody that's in their first 70 days, reach out to them. <coughs> Okay? And you cheer them on. Tell them, look at your reports. It is so important for you to run these reports so that you're able to identify who these people are. If you, don't, if you can't identify who they are, then you have no way to keeping up with them and helping them earn these levels. So again, who knows how to run a report to see sensational story? So a lot of you do not know how to run it, okay? So let's do that. Get your phone out and go to your workstation. 
okay? And go to your reporting page. And I'm going to show you how to run this report to be able to identify your frontline your team sensational starters. So you can see who's on their way there. Get it open, go to the reporting tab, and then go to performance. <coughs> I'm probably going quick, but go to performance. Once you're there, on the left hand side is yellow bar, and it says uh, front leader, what does it say? Down my report? Same leadership report. Same leadership report. Click that, and it's going to show you some various options there. You're going to click sensational start. That is going to show you everybody that is within their first 70 days where exactly they are. That's going to show you the GWB, the PRB that they have. That's going to show you how many active workers that they have. And that's going to tell you what level they've achieved, as well as the check the checklist. If they've done the first thing first checklist, or that's something that they also need to be doing. First things first checklist helps them see exactly what they need to be doing those first 70 days to really grow their business. So you have got to be doing that first and foremost. Tell your people when they join, first you need to do your first things first, things first checklist. Go to it, do it, and see what it says, okay? Have them complete that so they know exactly what they should be doing. But on that report, that's where you're able to see where all of these people are on that journey to get to sensational start levels. So then you're able, as their leader and their sponsor, to reach out to them and say, this is how close you are to level two, okay? You're almost there, let's push a little bit harder. And your job is in turn to say, hey, you're just like one party away. You're $200 away from level one. You're $200 away from level two, okay? So you're, this is how close you are, you're one party. Get your party booked so that we can get you going. So I want you guys to do that and open it up and those sensational starters look at it and send them a message, cheering them on. It's your job to be their cheerleader. You can't, like I said, you can't just talk the walk, you need to walk the walk and you need to walk it with them. Stand next to them as they're pushing to get to these various levels, okay? And cheer them on the whole entire way. So do that really quick while I breathe. Yes. Okay, reporting tab. Performance. And then the yellow bar on the side, say leadership reports. And then sensational start. So now everybody knows how to run a sensational start report. So now everybody can access and see where those people are exactly without having to go in and do the math. Because really, if you have to go in and do math, nobody's going to do it. Nobody's got time to add up other people's numbers. But if you can go in and see it quickly right there, then you're more than likely to reach out to them and really, really work closely with them to get there. So again, like I said, reach out to the people that you have right now and you know cheer them on. Say, this is how close you are. Let's get you there. Let's push a little bit further. Because there's so many people that don't believe in themselves. And sometimes at the beginning, it's kind of what you have to do is to make them believe in themselves. No, they may not, but if you believe in, even if I don't know them personally, I believe in Cincy enough to know that anybody can sell this stuff. Anybody can recruit. I believe in growing this business and to helping other people be a part of this business. So even if I don't know them, I don't know if they can sell anything. But I believe that Cincy sells itself. And that if they just put a little bit of effort in, they can do it. So that's, you know, you want to cheer them on and help them believe, even if they don't believe in themselves at the beginning. Because a lot of them don't. And again, a lot of them don't even know that sensational study exists. <coughs> so reach out, um, and I'm gonna breathe for just a second. <coughs> I know. But you also want to remind them, hey, not only are, you know, not only if we get you working towards these goals, are you going to hit the sensational start? But it's getting you one step closer to promotion and from a personal promotion points, and where they're going to get the most points, guys. There's tons of those personal promotion points. So somebody can come in. Yes, I see it. Somebody can come in as a brand new consultant and hit certified lead and star, and this in this incentive period, then they are set up to earn this incentive, you guys. Like they're there. And if anybody knows, if, you, if anybody's been on an incentive trip, you know, you're never gonna miss another one. So if you can help these new people get on that incentive trip next year, they are gonna stick with you long-term. And again, you're going to make so much money, you guys. Isn't that our goal, to make money? 
You want to make money. So you need to grow sensational starters and you need to be doing it all the time. Not just once a year. You need to constantly be doing things. You need to constantly be doing things. I tell my team all the time, the minute that you sit down is the minute that your business starts to fail. You cannot sit down. I don't care if you have 30 recruits. You have to keep recruiting. You have to keep helping them grow to sensational starters. Okay. I just keep I just keep telling them, kill them with kindness, okay? Even if they're negative, kill them with kindness. It, help them bust their excuses. Because 90% of the time, if somebody's negative, it's because I'm too busy. I have this going on, I have that going on. Okay, <coughs> I have five kids, okay? Yeah. Last week we did soccer, football, VBS, and summer school, all within 12 hours, five days a week last week. I still work my business, okay? If it's something you want bad enough, they'll make it work, okay? And again, not everybody's gonna do it. Not everybody's gonna do it. Those numbers they told you, the sensational start numbers, that's not everybody I recruited. Every single person I recruited in the last year or two years, they didn't get a sensational start. Would I have liked them to? Absolutely, but you cannot make them want it, okay? You, can, you, you need to push them, cheer them on, help them along, but you can't make somebody want it. So if somebody really doesn't want it and you've reached out and you've done your end, then it's in their hands and it is up to them. And at some point you do need to say, okay, well, I'm here if you need me, but now it's time for me to help this person. And that's what else is good about the 70, day, the 70 days, is if you you know work super close with them, reaching out often, every every week, two weeks, whatever else you wanna do, according to what you do with your front line. If you reach out to them super often, at the end of that 70 days, if they're still not doing anything, that's kind of when I look at it and say, okay, well, I'm done investing my time for this person. If they want me, I'm here, but I'm done reaching out, seeking out, and really investing my time, because they've not invested their own time. And then I move on to the next one. And then that's time for me to invest in that next person. Yes. Um, can you give me an example of when you are onboarding a new consultant onto your team? Um, how do you introduce them to sensational start? Maybe that sense also? Yeah. yeah. I, I kind of, I, like I, said, I run a marathon with them. So I tell them, okay, our first goal is $500 at $500 your launch party. It's normally what the goal is. I want them to do 500 with their launch party. Who's using the Arnicket? Holy cow, is there about any people using the Arnicket? Okay, well, this is the should be um, but earn a kid. It is huge, you guys. It's huge. They don't have to pay to become a Cincy consultant. And you know what else is even better? You know if they're trying to earn their kit and after 15 days for their launch party, they still haven't earned their kit for free or at least done something to earn their kit, then you don't have to waste your time. Because if they've not done anything to earn your kit, then that's when you say, okay, let me know when you're ready. Because you're not ready right now. Because you haven't even done $200. Do you know what I mean? And not mean like that. That's not really mean. I'm not mean at all. I promise. A lot of you don't have me. I don't really, it doesn't ever even come out that mean. This is just sound, I don't know what that was. But, it, you know, it just, but it just, it's just honest. Like, if they're not even, if they can't do 200 at their launch party, then they're not earning, then you're not, they're not wasting their time and money either. So that's why I love the earning kit. So that's what I start with. I say, okay, let's earn your kit with your launch party. And then, of course, when do we want to do your launch party? What date do we want to do your launch party? I don't even talk about sensational start the first time. I didn't talk about sensational start when we first started. I said, okay, let's work towards this earning your kit and also earning shooting star with your launch party, okay? Once we get to that 500, then that, if that 500 we get there three days later, then that's when I'll introduce the sensational start levels. But if it takes two weeks and they still haven't got to shooting star, then that's when I say, okay, we didn't get shooting star, but our next goal now is to certify in 30 days. I love certifying in 30 days. It, like, again, it becomes addictive. If they hit, if they hit these goals, and they get these achievements, and they promote, and they do these things pretty quickly, they're a lot more likely to stay around. So I always start with 15 days, earn your kit, shooting star. Next, okay, well let's get certified in the first 30 days so that your first paycheck is at your full commission. So then they're getting that 5% raise. And then once we get certified, then it's, okay, well let's jump into sensational start. This is level one, two, and three. And sometimes I'll ask them, which level do you think you can get? And a lot, I never, ever have anybody say I can get level three. Ever. Do I have a lot that say, I think I can do level two? I never have anybody say level three. And you know what I do? Like, let's push for level three. Let's go. Let's push it to its limit. Let's do this as big as we can to help you get there. Okay? So I just push them. It works one step at a time. It sounds like you're working out. Small attainable goals. Small attainable goals is the thing. Again, even if you just tell them you have to get $3,000 and two active recruits in your first 70 days, a lot of them are going to run away. Because it seems like a lot. What is it, six thousand PRV right now? 
It's the, it's never a lot. So they're not gonna think that they can do it. I have people all the time that they come in and they have a 12 hour launch party and they're like, holy cow, who knew I could do this? I thought I could sell a couple six packs. So don't, don't scare them off, okay? Work slow, small, attainable goals and do one at a time. Again, instead of that last one, I don't know if they got the last one. So and again, you're, it's not a sprint. It's not a sprint. You don't wanna tell them everything right now. But if you do break it up into small attainable goals, it becomes a lot more realistic and a lot easier to work with them. And they become a lot more coachable too. I thought I seen somebody else raise their hand. Does anybody have any questions? Can you go back to that other slide? Oh, you know, you get one. That was pretty good though. I like that picture. <laughs> any other questions, you guys? Yes. Like the like the levels like that I'm talking to them about everything? Yes. yes. I sit down and I it, you can sorry, Chloe. I need to start playing. Chloe has a list and I think it's on the director page, right? Yeah. There's a bunch of systems in a Google Drive. And it's on YouTube. Okay, it's all over the place. There's tens. If you look, you can if you look somewhere, I I don't know how we get that access to those sort of things. Where like a list of like hit sensational stars. Isn't that one of the workstations? Google too, Drive and YouTube. I'm looking at YouTube. <laughs> on the workstation, isn't there a list for new, for newer, for people who are bringing their first recruits in? Yeah. Like an onboarding list? Yeah. In the training center. Yes, there we are. <coughs> in the training center, there's an onboarding sponsoring checklist, which helps you get through each of those. Yeah. Way more 
uh, such a, a better business, a better leader. You're gonna make so much more money if you're being a good sponsor, okay? So don't just stop here. Go home and do all of the things. And again, it, it's a constant learning process. So I'm always tweaking the way that I do things. I'm always tweaking my systems, changing things, making them better. Um, you know, it, you can always, you can always improve. And again, like Melissa said today, if you're the smartest person in the room, go to a different room. <coughs> you need to constantly be learning and constantly be growing your business because we, none of us know it all, okay? And none of our journeys are the same. So it's so important too, if you haven't gotten your first recruit, not to think that you know, you're know you less than anybody in this room, you're not. You need to trust your journey and everybody's journey is so different, but it doesn't mean that any journey is more important than another one, okay? Any other questions? Or am I done like a really quick? Two thirty. Okay, mom. I think I'm done. I talk too fast, and I didn't say you know what I mean that many times. So, so I did good. I didn't say you know what I mean, and I also didn't talk about what are the toxins this time. Anybody want to talk how do I do that? Um, then, um, how do I coach them to earn the levels? So first I start with their launch party. I encourage every single one of my people to have a home party as a launch party. I know it's not really like the norm anymore. Most people want to do an online party, but I really, really, really push them to do a home party to start, okay? So that's a really great way to get them going. And then I tell them at your home party, don't stop with sales. You need to ask every single person at your home party to book a party. If you have to ask somebody for help and say, hey, I'm really starting my business, could you help me out by, by, start, by doing the whole party? There's no shame in that, okay? Ask people to book parties. Get them booking parties. Get them, you know, tell them you need to get this many parties to reach this goal, okay? You have to still be doing parties. And again, pushing them a little bit further each time. Uh, talking to them about all the different options. I have a girl who just came in at our level three. She did it most of fundraisers. She loves fundraisers. I told her, go try to get a fundraiser. She got some. She got to level three. So it works. Any other questions? Yeah. 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 I like at home parties, I like doing booking bags where I have bags and in each one it says a prize. So it'll say like, um, you know, on each one it'll say like a free six pack of wax with booking a party or a free $20 more make more work to book a party. I love doing it that way to where they have some sort of, sort of like instantaneous, you know, excitement about booking a party and it leads to a lot more bookings. Um, and I also just like to build that relationship with my customers. And they, believe it or not, eventually if you do it long enough, people come to you and they ask you for parties. And I have a lot of repeat customers, repeat parties of building that relationship. Every single person that asks me to purchase something, if they ask me to buy a six pack of wax or a $20 warmer, I ask them if they want to get it for free. Okay, I offer it for them, to them for free with a party, with a qualifying party, and I use them to touch a whole reward to get a half off. Okay, so I do that every single time. And I say, and I ask people constantly if they want to book. Do I say party all the time? No, you know, party sounds kind of icky. But I'm always asking people if they want to get their stuff for free and not price. And always offering to do parties with them. Yes. I think that the big 
I think you'll think, okay, this is a, well, something that Jen went up to me when I first met her. And she said, build a community and they'll stay. So it stuck with me at three years ago, she told me that, it stuck with me since then. And that's, I build a community. And we do group Zooms, we do leadership Zooms, we do our director Zooms. We have a community that we've built when we're here. We have an Airbnb with 16 of us staying in. <laughs> build a community and they'll stay. Building the community is what works. They want to be a part of it. I had somebody who, a superstar consultant that wasn't active for two months. He had a lot going on. He finally got active on the pair of months. We went to lunch. I asked him, I said, what made you stay? He said, I couldn't leave you guys. It wasn't the money. He wasn't making any money because he wasn't active. But he couldn't leave us. He couldn't leave the community that we built because it's something that's super, super special. So building the community helps him stay. And then this is the incentives. Since he gives us all these other ways to keep them in the game. Incentives. We constantly have incentives going on. So if you keep them engaged in the incentives, because they're constantly going to be wishing, working for a new goal, which is going to, again, keep them in the game. Yeah. So, I mean, I have, I have 16, I know. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So I did not get any stages of building that community. I'm still getting connected. Uh -huh. So what do you do with the beginning? And what do you do now to kind of continue the thing? Just keep going. Even if you go to, even if you schedule your first Zoom, we do our community Zooms. We call it a community. Um, our community Zooms, we do it the first Monday of every single month at 9 o'clock p.m. Um, and we start out with a guest speaker for the first 10 minutes. And then we do the same, then we do a training from the team, we do a drawing at the end, and all these things. If the first one nobody shows up, do it anyways. One person might show up, it's okay. Okay, keep doing it. And it becomes something super consistent that they can rely on in every single Zoom that you have, every single meeting that you have, every single social you have, more people will show up. Just keep going and be as consistent as you possibly can because they will show up even if it takes three months. They will. So just keep going. Keep building that community and it'll happen. Okay? And we're about to be in fall. So we're about to be in the craziest time of year where you're going to have recruits going out your eyeballs. Okay? You're going to be able to if you really want it and you're really willing to do the things. You can have recruits coming out of your eyeballs. So it's coming. Okay? Just hang on a little tighter. Keep on riding the ride. We're, we're there. And just keep building the community. Keep trying. Even if they don't seem engaged and like they really want it. Keep going. Yes. That's what we do. I know some people do it differently. That's what we do. And we're one community. So we, uh, we're all one huge community. We all work together. So like we have one group page where all of me and my directors are, and nobody has anything else. It's just one community. We all work together. Our little slogan is we're better together. I think we do ours, but not, it doesn't work for everybody. It's a vibe of your group, and our group works that way. So. Any other questions, you guys? You were yes. amazing. Oh, I hope so.